So uh, we have seen maximum scenarios in plan maintenance part. So now see whatever we have done, whether it is a planning part or execution part, the objective is pretty clear. We want to have a system where we can plan our maintenance activities, we can perform the execution, and also based on our execution, we'll be able to use some reporting. Or we can say uh, uh, historical data, which will help us in our day-to-day decision-making processes. So I'm gonna show you now a few reports about PM. See, under the plan maintenance information system, standard analysis, the first report I am talking about, it is about the planner group analysis. If you remember, we have created planner group. Right? The planner group is a person responsible for planning of a maintenance. So it is also considered as a one key performance indicator, KPI, to ensure or to check whether particular planner is working properly or not. So as you can see, here we have a planning plant. We can get a report for a particular plant. We can have a report for a group. If suppose initially we talked about this two approach of maintenance, central maintenance and decentralized. So if you have a centralized system, then you, there is no need to assign any planning plant. You will simply assign one planner group. Okay, then you can get the information for, even you can have information for your plant sections or locations also. Not only that for equipment. See, this is test server, so it, it is not, uh, uh, I don't have much data. So I'm removing this barrier of date. So that system shall show me all records of labor. Okay. So I'm dynamically running this report without entering any input parameter. In live scenario, you can use all this input. So now see, here I'll have a complete information about the maintenance task. Here it is my planning plant. This is notifications created, how many notifications were generated against each plant. For this plant, 636 notifications were generated. Then breakdown reported, it comes from the breakdown maintenance. Then MM TO repair, that I'll tell you in uh, another report, it is mean time to repair, which is a very uh, famous concept of plant maintenance. Then we have an order created, total plant order, total actual cost, initial wage cost, external wage cost, internal material cost. So you can see that this report tell us about the complete picture about the plant maintenance. But see, we want to know the planner group analysis. Now here we have one option. You can drill down the orientation of this report. Currently this report is showing for plant planning plant. Suppose I want to change this orientation. So I click here. Now I want to see this report for a planner group. So see, these, now that report gets converted into planner group. We have also created few planner group during our execution part. So we have created Y01 and Y02, mechanical and electrical respectively. So you can see under our Y02 group, it is showing that you have created three notification. You have reported one breakdown. Okay, 10 hours, MTTR, six number of order created. This is a cost. Okay, so this is a report here we simply turned our orientation. Now, so by using this report, you can know the efficiency of a planner group. How to now how to check the efficiency? See, if number of breakdowns reported are, are less, it means your planner is working perfectly. He is planning for preventive maintenance jobs. And our objective is to reduce the breakdowns. That's why we take uh, help of preventive maintenance. So number of breakdown reported less means a planner is working good. Okay. So I'll again change the orientation of this report. 
see we can change the orientation to the equipment now see these all are equipment masters right so the report got changed to equipment now let's do one thing we can also have a month on month report now see this is a month on month report okay for in that particular month in this month what happened okay but this is not giving me any specific picture it is simply telling me month on month report so here we have another option first of all I'll go back to the original one prana group see here i have a for this planner group 100 i have a 9 10 notifications created now i want to know the track of this 910 notification i want to know the graph for this okay so i am simply selecting notification creation and i am going on time series so this system will plot this 910 notification with respect to time okay proceed on a top screen you have a month and this is showing the count with respect to the runner group see 17 2 in this so this is a time series 1 2 21 okay so with the help of this you can at least come to know see when notifications are getting created it means the breakdowns are reported to you okay so by analyzing that particular data you can conclude that in what month there is a possibility of a breakdown sometime in chemical industry what happened due to the temperature changes your breakdown rate may increase so this is the one data trend which will prove your point that okay in the month of may I'll have a more number of breakdowns so you can arrange your workforce accordingly. You can arrange your spare part for the maintenance part. So this is the one report about the planner group analysis.